But first, a local company accused of stealing thousands of dollars from many of its customers. Global Freight and Logistics claims to be a business here in Austin that transports vehicles all over the country. But as KXAN's Lindsey Bramson found out today, many of those vehicles are not being delivered, even after the company gets its money. Global Freight and Logistics claims to be the name you can trust, promising on-time delivery. But for many customers, that's apparently not the case. We wired him the money and uh, never heard from him again. Tom Fitzpatrick lives in Florida and spoke with us via FaceTime. He says he spoke with the company's owner by phone after buying this antique car from someone in Canada and needed it moved to St. Petersburg. So this guy, we get a hold of him on the phone. He goes, oh my goodness, this is what I do, I do. I move 200 cars a month in and out of Canada. I'm an expert. Fitzpatrick says the company's owner, Teodosa Garza, known as Ted, took five grand but never delivered the car. The Better Business Bureau says people all over the country, including in Austin, have similar claims. We've tried to reach out several times through telephone. We've also mailed complaints directly to where the business is supposedly located. So we tried to track him down. Customers say Garza gave them this address in Westlake Hills, but we couldn't find him or his business here and those who do work here. Does that company sound familiar to you? have never heard of Ted Garza. We did find his house just outside of Houston, but no one answered the door. Fitzpatrick did finally get his car, but had to hire another company and pay nearly double. It's absolutely annoying to me that I can't do anything about it. And he continues to go on defrauding other people. And there are at least 12 complaints against Global Freight and Logistics with the Better Business Bureau. And we checked Tedoso Garza's background and found a current theft charge pending in Bastrop County. He also served probation for a theft charge in San Marcos back in the early 90s. Leslie and Robert, the BBB says there are red flags written all over this one. To protect yourself from situations like this, we put tips on our website posted with this story. Just go find the story on KXAN.com. As always, buyer beware. Thank Thanks. You. Well, if you have a story tip for KXAN to investigate, call our tip line at 512-703-5307 or send an email to investigates at kxan.com.